Good afternoon, my name is Andrew Adams for Parker Adams Boat Sales and behind me is a Sea Line S38 and I have to say it is a really really lovely boat. Um, I, it's the first time I've been on board an S38 um, this one I have to say I'm very very pleasantly surprised um, by so many of the features and benefits that are on this boat um, and also the overall condition of her. Um, so the first thing to note about this boat is that it is a 2005 boat. Um, now it's a 2005 boat but one of the key things about this boat is that it's powered by twin 2018 engines. So they're actually the Volvo Penta D4, 260 horsepower each engines. Um, they are, as you would imagine, on three-year-old engines, absolutely immaculate. Um, and I will show you down to the engine base. So There's a real feature of this boat, the fact that it has been re-engined in 2018 um, with these brilliant new D4 engines. So what I'm going to do is crack on with the walkthrough tour. Um, this boat, if I were to describe this word in three, this spoke sorry in three words it's really around space um, versatility and comfort um, there are so many features on this boat um, normally I have a quick look on board a boat look over the um, the boat for five ten minutes prepare for this video um, and then start talking on this boat I think I've been on board the boat already for about half an hour just going through the different cupboards the different ways that the seating works um, lots and lots of different things to show you on board this boat so first of all let's step aboard and um, one of the things to note when you first step on board a boat like this now looking here i really should have cleared up this um this power cable but i'm going to move that out of the way now um when you first step on board a boat like this what i look for is to see that the side decks carry on all the way to the corners and that's something which this sea line s38 has um, on my own target 34 that i had until last year the start of the bathing platform was quite a long way tucked into there um, so that's not the case on this it's really easy access so you just step straight onto it now the teak on this boat is all original um, i always look at boats like this 2005 it's about the age that if the boat hasn't been well looked after the teak will start to lift in places um, there is no evidence of that at all on this boat the teak is all in really really nice condition uh, as are the covers the covers are all excellent they're master cover um, master covers um, and they all fit fit nicely um, there's no obvious gaps or areas on here so it all looks to be in very good condition if I carry on with the side access here you can see nice steps here later teak as you go up onto the side you can hold on here to the cover and then work your way round using the stainless steel guardrails and the handle that's there. So let's come through. You've got a um, twin um, manual bilges there and the handles just nicely there. Um, gas bottle, they're stored just down here. Really nice gas deep gas bottle locker there. Uh, one gas um, bottle that's connected and another one that's a spare. Um, this door here, so you can lift that up close it off so make it really nice and protected um, for children to make this a nice area and the cockpit space here is really good you've got a nice u-shaped seating here and then a big lounging area here and then well it's a double helm seat but you'd comfortably put three people um, at the helm there now talking about features on this boat just here you have a bit of a work surface underneath is a nice surprise you have a gas fired barbecue here so really nice to spend family time up in this cockpit area here um, and of course a barbecue on the grill here so that's a nice feature just under here you have a fridge which is loaded with the essentials of some um, some coke and peroni nice combination there and i think i noticed some stella as well um, now I'm not ashamed to say it took me a little while to work out where the battery isolators are when I came on board this boat. Now I know where they are, it's very obvious, but they're actually tucked away. They're just behind here. So there you have a fuse panel and the battery isolators nicely put away there. Uh, it did take me a little while to work out where they were. Um, storage space on this boat is absolutely excellent. You have underneath each one of the seats, um, you have good storage access here you've got some engine spares in there you've got a toolbox now there is a nice piece of design here which i've brought out on a lot of boats you can infill this area here to make up a sunbed area but often that means you need to store the sunbed cushion what tends to happen with the sunbed cushion is it goes up into the loft and it's never to be seen again and then hopefully it makes its way onto the boat when the boat sold this boat not the case sea line have worked this out and what they've done is there's a design under here which holds both the sun bathing cushion and also the cockpit table 
So the cockpit table can be stowed away to give this really nice feeling of spaciousness up here, but you can also bring out the sunbathing area. Now I'm going to attempt to do this one-handed. I might fail miserably because I'm holding the GoPro, so I may have to put the GoPro down, but let's have a go. So you pull out this section here, pull it all the way out, pull this, pull this cushion out, and then just drop it down and into place. There you go, one-handed, and there you have very quickly, in the space of about 10 seconds, I've converted that into a full sunbathing area. Very, very nice feature and very easy to do. Let's see if I can put it away one-handed as well. There we go, tuck down there and all away one-handed. I reckon that's five seconds that time, even quicker. Just under there, you can see there is a table, table and the legs stored securely. And while we're in this area, I'm going to go down into the engine bay. As I mentioned, down in here, you have twin D4 260 horsepower engines that were brand new in 2018. Now, something that Sea Line do, and I think it's a great feature, is that they put this additional moulding in the engine bay space. And I think it's excellent, because what it means is the engine bay always feels like it's very clean and tidy down here. So you can see this additional moulding where the engines are, and excellent access all the way around these engines. Right the way to the back, you've got access to your water um, strainers here, your oil filters, everything that you need access to is very, very easy to find here. Good big fire extinguisher up here. You'll notice a generator. So this fit boat is fitted with a generator. All of the controls, everything that you need, nice and handy. Your batteries are stored in this big battery box here. You've got additional battery chargers, you've got your trim tab pumps, you've got your RAM actuators for your outdrives, fuel separator system here, your Raymarine VHF radio, your smart pilot, so the brains behind the autopilot, and everything very, very easy to get to. You've got the bilge, you can see straight down here into the hull. The bilge is there, very dry, totally bone dry, not an ounce of water in there, um, and the seacocks. So just to show you around this engine bay once more, just to reiterate, twin D4 260s, 2018 engines in this 2005 Sea Line S38. I'm just going to come back up here, stainless steel ladder, nice and easy to get back out. I'll spin that back round again. Very, very good engine access. In fact, I would say that is the best engine access on any 38 foot boat that I've been on. I'll just close that down again, just to mention the teak, laid to teak, excellent condition. Uh, no lifting of the teak, the corking is all sound. Um, very, very good. So walking further forward. Here's the dash panel. Um, all the controls are, are nice and easy to hand. Um, if I, were picky, if I were picky, I would say that the dash panel here, it could do with potentially being just sanded down and wrapped. Um, you can see there's just a little bit of corrosion um, on the surface there, which could easily be addressed with just a wrap. So just something to point out there. But all of your controls are here. You've got a working chart plotter. You've got your autopilot. You've got a tri data. And of course, because these engines have been updated, you have here the very, very latest Volvo Penta controls together with the diagnostics and your controls here for a bow thruster. So a nice ergonomically designed dash here. You can sit down, you've got good access and visibility through the, wind, um, through the front windscreen. Or of course, if you are standing up, I'll give you the height. I'm five at, uh, five at 10 and that's the view looking forward. Excellent visibility up here. Um, sea line are very good with their cover designs and you can see that these front covers actually drop into this section here and that would provide um, a space for all the covers to fold up into this top of the radar arch here. So excellently designed cockpit. Let's crack on, let's go on down below. Just take my shoes off. As you would imagine, sea line space is fantastic. And it's actually very, very deep down here. I feel like I've come down a long way down into the boat and you have lots and lots of space. So you've got a nice big U-shaped seating area here, portholes up here, height wise, always good to give you just a guide in terms of height. As I said, five foot 10, you'd comfortably get a six foot person standing up here without any issues with headroom. I'll spin this round now to the galley area. 
and you have a drinks cabinet. <laughs> Always nice to see a glass drinks cabinet here. All the wood on this boat is in very, very nice condition. You've got a gas cooker down here. You've got a double sink. So double sink in here. And then all the, um, all the covers are all in place. You've got a twin burner gas hob there. Lots of cupboard space, lots of um, ease of, of access to everything. There's a big rug down here, but you can see just under there, there is a teak and holly floor, which very sensibly is where the galley is. So if you do have any spillages, it either goes onto the rug um, or onto the teak and holly floor rather than ruining your carpet. Um, let's start at the back. So the back cabin. Now this is actually a triple cabin. So on a lot of boats of this size, you have a, a double at the back or two singles, but actually this is a triple. So what you have in here is this sofa, which is actually long enough to sleep on. So you have what you'd expect, which is two single beds here. You can get an infill, which would make that this up into a large double. Lots of space. You've got little cubby holes here. You've got different lighting controls. You've got a, um, a porthole at the end. And then this this big sofa area here if i lay on this for a second there you go fully fully laid down and that's all the way to the end so this i can happily say is a triple cabin on a 38 foot boat really really remarkable how they fitted all that into there just inside here you have a sink so this cabin is self-contained in terms of um, washing, doing your teeth in the evenings. You've got a sink here, lots of storage space, a full length wardrobe there, portholes. Each one of the portholes has got its own blind system. So these blind systems have been added here and lots and lots of mirrors around. So you get a really nice feeling of light and spaciousness on this boat. Let's come back out into here. Now you'll notice two doors. So let's see. This door is as you would expect. This is a very nice heads. You've got electric toilets. You've got a nice designer sink here that sits on top of the work surface. You've got cupboard space there and the toilet. Um, now, this is also a shower room. Um, it's a wet room, so you've got a drainage down there. So if this is a shower room, what's this room? This is a dedicated shower room. I don't quite know how Sea Line managed to fit so much into these boats. Here you have a separate shower room. So this room in only exists as a shower and it's brilliant. It means that when you're having a shower on board, you don't need to get um, the heads totally um, covered in water. And you've also got access to both the shower and the heads through the main cabin. You can see the door here and the door here. So let's close that up close that up and move forward into the main cabin. A big island bed here, lots and lots of space, cupboard space all the way around, big full length wardrobes, both on this side, a nice big mirror at the end of the bed there, great access for air at the top, plus the two portholes either side. And then you've got these full length wardrobes. And as I showed you just then, you have the door there, which goes into the heads. If I turn that round, you also have a door there which goes into the shower room, which is a very, very nice feature on this boat and very surprising on a 38 foot boat to have a separate shower room. Your switches, your control panels are all up here. I mentioned earlier the boat has a generator. Um, it's a Fisher Panda generator. The controls for it are here. Everything else is accessible here on this switch panel, including a nice big clear digital readout um, of your domestic voltages, which is really nice if you're at anchor for a couple of days, you can monitor that very easily. Um, all of the lighting switches are all touch control. So they've got little LEDs to say what's on, what's off. The boat is fitted with Eberspatcher warm air heating. That's a seven day control there. So you can set the timer up during the winter. So it could come on for perhaps a couple of hours in the morning when you're not on board the boat, which keeps the boat nice and toasty. Porthole access up at the top here. And then you've got a big skylight here, which opens up as so another porthole access up there. There's another porthole here. Now this opens up into the cockpit, which is nice because it means at night you can open up this porthole here and if it rains you're not going to get any water coming down to the cabin. So you get a nice bit of through flow into the cabin air-wise, but it's not going to come down into the cabin. 
Now this table here will drop down, you can see the design under there, and there is an infill cushion so that would allow that area there to be made up into another double bed. So in terms of versatility and accommodation wise this boat is brilliant because you've got a double cabin at the front, you've got a double bed that can be set up here, and then if we look back here you've got a triple cabin. So this boat can very very easily be converted to sleep seven people on board. And of course if you're having a really good party you could even convert that area at the top, the sunbathing area, into an additional um, sleeping area. I'm just going to go back up into the cockpit area and show you a few more of the little um, things that I managed to find when I looked over this boat. Um, this was a pretty good find. I noticed that it mentions here, there's a little sign that says there's a life raft. Well, I looked at that and thought, well, how on earth is there a life raft in, in this cupboard? But of course, there is. If I lift this seat forward, that seat rocks forward and you've got this huge locker space and a life raft in there. So that's a six person life raft which is stored underneath the helm cushion. There's loads of space there, that's a six person life raft and even with that you've still got a really big generous amount of space in there. The condition of the upholstery on this boat is excellent. Um, you can see that these have been replaced recently. Uh, nice, clean, white, fresh. Um, the back's fractionally older, but there's no rips, no tears, and it all blends really, really nicely with the new upholstery that's here. So just another quick look around this cockpit space here. Speakers here for the radio. And it's just a very, very nice place to be. So I'm just going to walk outside here. Again, you've got this um, bathing platform you can see here. You've got bathing ladder stored underneath here. You've got a shower, hot and cold shower here, and these excellent access steps to the side decks. Coming around here, if we just walk down the boat, you've got twin diesel tanks, one filler on each side. There's a life buoy here. Now, 38 foot boat, two spring cleats, which is a really nice feature. So one spring cleat there, another one there, and then a fore and aft cleats. And this boat is also fitted with a waste tank, so there's a waste um, disposal area there. Of course, there's an electric windlass, foot controls there, as well as being operated from the helm position. So this boat is absolutely packed with features. Um, the biggest, of course, is the benefit of these 2018 engines, which are still under warranty. So they, that warranty on those Volvo Penta D4260s runs right the way through to 2023. So it's been a quick walkthrough tour, but I hope that has given you a really nice guide to the ins and outs of this Sea Line S20, S38. So, that's the end of this walkthrough tour. Um, we hope you find if this. So that's the end of this walkthrough tour. We hope you found this really interesting. The Sea Line S38 on with Parker Adams Boat Sales is an absolute beautiful boat. Um, loads and loads of features, loads and loads of things to look at, um, and really make this an absolutely brilliant family cruiser. I can see a family going away on this boat um, multiple weekends in the summer, take it down to the West Country, take it across the Channel. So many things that you can do with this very, very capable uh, Sea Line S38. So, Thank you so much for watching. Um, I've been Andrew Adams and we've been recording this video for Parker Adams Boat Sales. Please do like, subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. Um, we do video walkthroughs on every single one of the boats that we list and we also do drone videos. So the drone video will be done on this boat within the next couple of weeks. So thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel and we look forward to seeing you very soon. Many thanks.